Hey folks, how y'all doing? I'm doing a video of uh, my new welding shield here. I got a Miller Black Digital Performance Series welding shield or welding helmet. People, I call them welding shields, but people call them welding helmets. And uh, does all welding applications. Uh, Mid-range helmet for um, you know all welding applications, like I said before. It's digital. Um, it is awesome, and I'm, I'm, I'm an old school welder. I've been welding since the 70s, uh, helping my dad, you know, in the shop and that kind of stuff, making anchors for commercial fishing. I mean, you need a boiler maker my trade. I'm out of local 45 in Michigan. But yeah, I've been at the trade since uh, started in 88 and went to the apprenticeship program, the Boiler Makers National Apprenticeship Program. Yeah, nice shield, nice shield. And that's one thing I like going to apprenticeship school. Every year I'd buy me a new shield when I was out there. <laughs> but anyway, I'm old school. I started out with uh, this one's uh, old. This old Huntsman right here, old Huntsman shield. Um, it's with the old slide cover, as you see, right here. Let's see, yeah, but the Huntsman's been around for a long time. This is old, the old fiber with the rivets in it. So you can tell you how long I've been welding. Yeah, it's been dropped a couple times. Got wet, and after they get wet, they get kind of, they get kind of messed up. It still works though. So, but yeah, I'm, I thought I died when to heaven I got this new shield here. But anyway, it's my original Huntsman I had years ago, back in the early 90s. Then I've uh, been using Jackson's for many years. Right here, flip-up lens, passive lens. Uh, I use a number ten usually. Uh, depends on my application. Like number eleven if I'm MIG welding, well, flux core MIG welding, O45 that kind of stuff, heavy industrial. But can't beat old flip lens cover. I'll, I'll, they're good, foolproof. No batteries to worry about. They're good to go. But yeah, old Jackson. It's not too heavy. Tough shield. I dropped this one sometimes. Uh, I, I dropped it 100 foot and it still survived. So, yeah, Jackson's definitely a tough shield. Um, got this, I got this probably in the late 90s, right here. And then I got an old Arc 1 that I was on a job, running the job years ago. Uh, it's an old Shade Master Arc 1. It's got two sensors up. It's a solar power, no batteries. It's got the arc sensor here and the arc sensor here. Let's see, if it gets you a close up on that. You can see where the arc sensors at are at located. But uh, great shield. I, this is a 1999 model, and I called uh, up in uh, Taunton, uh, Massachusetts, where they're made at. And uh, the lady said, I can't believe the sensors are still working. I was like, me either. <laughs> but it works like a charm. It's a great shield. But anyway, I uh, just want to show you what I've used over the years. Love it. Great shield. Uh, but my newest one, like I said, is the Miller. Is the, I got a cyber wheel. Got me a set of sleeves, uh, all that good stuff. This the this performance series came with its own bag, Miller bag. Just it, um, awesome. I'm gonna take it on out of here. Plus, I got came with extra lenses, all that good stuff. Manual. I got that in the little front pouch right here. I guess you can use this thing like a backpack. But it's pretty tough. But anyway, I'm going to pull this thing out of here. But she is cool to the bump. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, wide viewing area. Nice wide viewing area. 
Um, if you got three sensors and the, and the solar assisted power, y'all know how I like solar power. Love it. And you got one sensor up here and two sensors down here, and it's, it's, it works great. And right here, you just take this off right here, these buttons on the side, and the whole front assembly come off where you can change your lenses, your clear lenses and everything. But in here is your, your digital controls. Let me see if I can get on there for you. But got a little dust in there already. But in here, Turn this bad boy on right here. And I got a separate 10, number 10, a 3, and a 5. And I got in weld mode right now. If you want to go into grind mode, you go right here. That's a 5, that'll be a cut mode. And that's the grind mode right there. You see a little light blinking on and off. That's easy. Change your battery too, also. But I'm gonna get out of grind, grind mode and go into uh, that mode. But I'm gonna show y'all something here. But yeah, I'm, I've been using dark lenses for a while. But this thing is the truth. I'm gonna tell you, this thing is cool, and it's got the new headgear on also. Also, oh, it's second here. It's got the new headgear right here. New headgear. Miller did really good when he did that. And I got a kind of weird shaped head. I got like a noggin head. I mean, a, kind of like a pointy head. Looks bigger than what it is, but actually, it's actually pretty small. But anyway, we got set on three. 10, delayed for three seconds. And I got, oh, oh dang, oh, sorry y'all. Hit my leg on the tripod, but Anyway, this is a big lighter. Okay, I'm gonna show you the response. Look what that is. And it's not bright enough, so it's not gonna, but you know, it, it does the job. That's how quick it is. So, yeah, I, I'm overall pleased. And also in this shield, it will tell you the what kind of uh, stuff you need, like your replacement batteries, cover lens, inside cover, cover lens. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Whoa. Whew. Um, but anyway, y'all get the idea. It gives you this digital performance series that tells you everything you need as far as lens covers, all the kind of stuff. Um, replacement parts. And also, it has a diagram operating instructions inside the shield, which is very helpful for people like me. I'm not a rocket scientist. But yeah, I just want to do a, uh, a quick review. I like it. And uh, we've got to play around with a little bit today on some stuff. Just testing everything out, but I, I like it. I'm liking it. But it fits really good. Let me try it on here, y'all. It's simple, simple to use. It stays up. Nice shield. Nice shield. But yeah, it flips down. Does real good. Tighten the set screws up. There we go. Pretty bad to bone. I like it. But uh, like I say, I'm pretty and happy with it. Cut grind mode, all that kind of good stuff. But I got it from Cyberwell um, online. They came pre pre set of sleeves. I think that's it. that just expired. But yeah, nice set of sleeves. Um, pretty happy about that. But, you know, hot summer days and just want to wear sleeves and wear a t-shirt, mig in or any of that kind of stuff, stick welding, good to go. 
but I'm, I've been a tube welder, plate, heavy wall, work for the pipe fitters, union pipe fitters over the years, uh, union bowl, maker tube welder, all that kind of good stuff, kind of, you know, jack of all trades. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is a, looks like a good heavy duty shield. I recommend it for anybody. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy off. See if I'm hit this tripod again. But you just show, I'm gonna shut it off. Put it in there like that. Which is about okay. I'll just shut it off. Oh, can y'all see that? Alright, let's see. There we go. The shutter now, but it's simple to use. Even I can use it. There we go. Alright, y'all. Well, I want to say thank you for watching. That's my review. I give it a I give it a 10. I mean Maybe because I'm just old school, used to using old passive style welding shields. But overall viewing and getting parts for it, I'm happy. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. This is KVSMC. Just want to give you my, uh, my two cent work on the uh, Miller Digital Performance Series. And I'm loving it. <laughs> hey, y'all have a good one, y'all. $195 I paid for it, free and free shipping. So that's kind of hard to beat from Cyber Will. I'm not a seldom form, just I got I'm a happy person with a happy product. Alright, that's my review. Hey y'all have a good one, y'all. Thanks for watching. Simplify.